How is it going, Cheyenne? It is going good. Getting Get, stuff done? Getting everything set up and ready to go. Getting to take my time a little bit because we were going to have school kids yesterday or, or tomorrow, but the school kids canceled, so now I'm just kind of taking my time instead of running around like a chicken with my head cut off. <laughs> I see. We're not putting the clothes up this time, so the whole back section is going to be sashes and bags and stuff. So I get to spread out a little bit. Now, the next couple shows, we won't be able to do that because we're going to have the clothing up, but it's kind of nice. Kind of makes me wish we had two tents. One with clothes and one with everything else. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on? Powder horn. I see, very nice. What are you doing? Just scraping the powder horn. Get all the scratches and nicks off of the surface. Because the scratches and nicks, when you go with inking them, they tend to do the same thing that the scrimshaw is doing. It's a scratch that ink stays in when you go and rubbing the rest of it off. One of the ways that I particularly like to do this, different people have different ideas about how to do it, but I find it handy to take a, like a leather stain and to go over it, and then you can see where all the little scratches are. And then when you scratch, and then when you scrape sand or however you're doing it over them, you can see how deep the scratches are and how, how much further down you gotta go to sand off. So that yellowy stuff is a uh, leather dye? Mm-hmm. You can use ink too, it doesn't matter, some kind of a stain. Anything to get get a discolor into the scratches that exist so you can see when you've scratched them out. Otherwise, if you got it perfectly white and you think you've got it cleaned off, when you ink it, you find out where the scratches were. And if the scratches that exist are deeper than the ink marks that you have, then you end up and clean them, you end up cutting down past the scratches that you did on the engraving. And how did you make the top part black? Uh, Ritz dye. You want to heat it up though. Mm. I don't have a special formula for it. Put some Ritz dye in some water and get it nice and warm. Dip it in, leave it in there until it's the right color. If it's not dark enough, leave it in longer or add more color. <laughs> Very scientific mixture, but hmm, it works. This is your wad. Okay, and mm -hmm. so I don't have to and use paper to sit out no. here. Okay. Well, you, you might. You know. What we do with ours is we wrap them in duct tape and uh, duct tape. Duct tape? Uh, hey, Cheyenne, you got some duct tape? What is that? Duct tape. It is a sponge. Over in a truck. But that keeps us from getting burnt up and all that. Okay. And then, if it ever gets loose, uh, you just put another wrap of duct tape on it. Okay. Duct tape. Forward. Yeah, you got to get it to fit in that hole, though. Fire in the hole! It's pretty fast. It's still just about the same. Oh, it's pretty exciting, uh, anyway. Of time to get away. They both burn at the same rate. Yeah. Okay. Run! So, so just making longer. <laughs> yeah, I want to watch D run, not fall. Face <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plant. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you'll have to run and come and get me up. <laughs> Move your butt. <laughs> so you know what you're doing yet? No, I don't. Well, where's the candy? Powder patch ball. <laughs> Powder patch candy. Well, the first thing you do. Let's go get you some powder. Let's find out how much it's going to okay. take us. I got powder. Uh, when we used it, we 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 when set it off really bad so that we could find out whether it would blow up. Where'd she go? I don't know. She walked so that way. So we poured way. a lot of powder in there. Same way you were walking? Yeah, a lot of dirt, too. Oh, there she is. Okay, let me go get my um, powder. Powder? Powder? Just in time. Yes. Yeah. 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 How are you off work for the day? Or are you here yeah. for a break oh, and have a bag? Oh, I just finished up. That was a fuse we made. That was a lot faster. Was, at least that's when, when I took my first phone call. That gives her about 20 seconds. Where the hell is my yeah, brick? Yeah, she'll, she'll fall. All right. At 5 a.m., where the hell is my brick? I can tell you where your brick is mm -hmm. at 5 a.m. I know where it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Are you coming out this weekend? I don't know. We got family in from Alabama, so. Bring them out. I've been volunteered to cook. I told you, you stay in that closet too long, it's going to get to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> he doesn't even look up when he says that. <laughs> 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 
doing? What closet? She says, is it going to come out this weekend? Oh. <laughs> Only dad would go right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every other person is missing it. Well, we go sometimes if we got a lot of space to shoot it we uh we'll, we'll shoot 80 in there as high as 80 but you start getting any higher it starts burning the candy wrappers we were just discussing this the other day that you know nobody shoots off taffy anymore they when we were kids <laughs> oh. they used to shoot off taffy no one the best taffy no yes it melts trust me and it burns but there's nothing better than burnt taffy it tastes so good it's got the hint of black powder it's yummy where was the taffy factory at Covers a fuse or a little Gideon bird. or somewhere. You might be right. There is one around is here. Is yours the size? Oh, they mine the is stuff. even bigger. Okay. But mine's made out of a, a welding tank. Mm -hmm. And it's the okay. top of the welding Most tank. Got a dip that goes so down. it goes. Uh, and then, you know, where your gauges go on your welding tank, well, mm -hmm. what they did, they uh, put a bolt in there and then welded it. And then on the side of that, that that's where the uh, thing. So mine's got just like a little chamber. Clever. You can put all the. Uh, I'm going to put. Then mine's on trunnion. So you can uh, black bra get the button. It looks like a little uh, uh, looks like a little warm is what it looks like. Well, let's try two of these and see what it does. It's like a hundred and thirty Can you imagine that? This, this black bra gets a button operation. Oh yeah? You get it bigger or reduced? She was out on the stage dancing and slipped and fell on her butt and popped. Oh. Uh oh. How are you gonna get it out? With your hand. You blow it out. You blow it out. Oh, I thought I was supposed to get duct tape together. We don't have duct tape. Right Cheyenne's now. getting some. Yeah. Well, do it after. Like it's say, in there. My gut hates stick. it when okay. you tape it up. That's a whole other story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like a piece of leather in a tube. What they did, they welded trunnions. Mm -hmm. And then they. No duct tape? Uh, Someone took the duct tape out of the door. A little wooden. That's yeah, already in there anyway. It in, I did the door in my truck. Nice. Uh, so you can adjust the angle. I just, because we shoot ours out. It used to be in the door in that truck. So well, when we shoot ours, it doesn't go straight up. It, yeah, yeah. You go out. You're not going to put candy in it? We can like put candy in it. That way you know if the candy burns. We don't know how high there, the candy goes. Right we know the, <laughs> we know the leather is going to go candy? in the air. We want to know how high the candy is going to go. Double D, where's the candy? Oh, you want candy in it? Well, we well, got to find out where you got to burn it. We know the leather is going to come out. We don't know how high the candy is going to go. Well, well you, you got to pick all the candy up? No. You got a substitute. You might have to shoot the trial in there. You got a candy substitute? <laughs> no, put Do you this. have some substitute sugar we could have? <laughs> well, you need some to like some bitch to see if it I can put a little bit there. Right out in the middle there. Everybody watch it. We don't know what's going to happen. Okay, I didn't know. I mean, I've got like a hundred dollars worth of candy with me, but. Oh, that should be. No, no, no. I went and got oh. approval. Oh, okay. It took me five people to get through, get two, but I finally got through the right people. Okay. I'm sitting here digging. I'm like, Algie. No. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. They didn't understand what we did. Okay. Is that going to understand this? Is that far enough away? It's not going to blow up, is it? We don't know. Mm -hmm. Just keep your camera. Yeah, that's funny, Mom. Yeah, but this is for D. We're going to have time yeah. to get away. You might roll. Yeah, that's about six inches. That's a lot of views. <laughs> I think that'll work. Friday at six o'clock. Getting a little bit of a crowd coming out here. There's going to be music at seven. Got a nice little camp. You said come to the river.
Cheyenne. Let me look at her pretty dress. Isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. <laughs> compliments on this so far good yes it's pretty everybody likes the red so i made it it should be <laughs> there we go lace lacy made this whole dress she's all this winter i gotta get close because i gotta show the detail on this course that you've got to see this turn sideways turn back there is so much detail this thing took her forever to make this is gonna this is gonna be her right now she's doing this whole steampunk thing. Blackbeard, did you know that? I didn't know that. Sailed with him once. He was crazy. <laughs> Tell you a story about him. We was all down in the cabin. We was playing cards. And I watched him and I see the captain. He pulls a pistol out of his boot underneath the table. Well, there's another guy with us. And I said, you know, we really ought to go up and on deck and have a smoke and a jigger and rum, you know? We ought to get out of here. And he says, no, he says, I'm feeling pretty lucky today. He says, so I want to take and play these cards. And well, really, you know, we really ought to go up on deck and have a smoke, you know, a couple of jiggers of rum. And he said, no, he said, I'm staying here. I feel lucky. I want to play cards. So I said, well, okay, I'm going to go on deck. And I didn't even make it all the way down the passageway. And I hear a shot and a scream. And I go back in and the captain had shot his kneecap right out. So we took him up to the surgeon and fixed him up. He's going to be on a stump after that. And I asked the captain, I said, why would you do a thing like that? And he said, well, if I don't shoot one of them once in a while, said they forget who you are. <laughs> it's a good story. <laughs> And dream 
Good. Some sort of strawberry pie. Mm. Oh, is that? Oh, it's like a, it's like a strawberry shortcake kind of a thingy. Okay, so that one's like a strawberry shortcake, and that one's a pie. I see. And there's watermelon, mm -mm -mm -mm. salad, meat, and beans. And this is the most fabulous smoked deer leg. Yum 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 yum. It's They're either there or already, on the table. Uh, it's on a table somewhere. Kroger, he's already graduated high school. One of going down to. It's that wonderful time again when everybody gets to work and tears all this crap down. Isn't it, Cheyenne? It's that wonderful time again. Oh, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Got it all tore down. Oh, I'm so tired. Uh, getting the last poles put away. Justin still got energy, for which I have not. <laughs> uh, but other than that... Because I have caffeine flowing through my blood. No, I don't drink caffeine. It's just naturally there. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Gotta check over for trash left behind. You should always pick up your trash. Never leave trash. It's bad. So that's my, that's my, uh, you know, whatever that's called. My, um, oh my gosh, what is that called? What? <laughs> you know, when you make a, a public statement, whatever, you know, like, don't, like, make sure and pick up uh, your trash. That's a, you know, public announcement. My public announcement. There we go. <laughs> is always pick up your trash. <laughs> I'm tired. That's, that's, that's not really a public announcement. Announcement is saying, hey, this happened. Okay, so what do you call that? I'm not sure. It's something like that. It's like a, you know. Public service? Public service announcement. Yeah, there we yeah, go. That is my public service announcement. Isn't that right, Dad? What, honey? That you should always pick up your trash. Yep. Yes, he said yep, in case you didn't hear it. He said yep. And you should always listen to Dad. <laughs> Ain't that right, Dad? Well, if I pick up my trash, then nobody else will have to. That's right. On the road again! Headed to the next place. Which is... Where are we going? Palm de Terre. Palm de Terre Park. We're going to Palm de Terre Park, but we're going to... Some railroad. railroad days thingy or something, but up by Kansas City. Up by Kansas City, so. Yep. Men Off on another adventure. We're free and bird skin clad and eagle. 